Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival This, and we return to Cold Wild, the Angler, and Trollsplit. We're just going to make our way back to the shop here in order to pick up some gear to try to help us with these last two uh, fishing challenges here in Nokenjin, or Nokenjin, or Nokenjin, whatever it's called. But yeah, we got the qual or the time of day update that's out, so. It's supposedly almost 6 in the morning. I might actually... Uh, after I pick this stuff up, I might actually hop back out to the main menu and try to load into evening to see if maybe we have better luck there. But we'll stop by here. This is the time for coffee and snooze compass. Not for shopping. <laughs> Open for business. Okay, let's see. Uh, lines. Yeah, we've got a new one opened up there that can take... Uh, 10 kilograms on that. Um. I, I think we want the fluorocarbon, like. I don't know if the diameter matters that much. I know the abrasion resistance being high is nice, and the low visibility is nice, but. That's point 0.2, that's point 0.4. Truth be told, I don't know if those, like. The abrasion resistance and visibility matters all that much, but ah, I'll pick that up. Okay, so there's line picked up. Uh, lures, I know I needed like okay, the asp was yeah, like two and ones. I'm trying to remember what I needed for them for like there. Um, oh, okay, there's. Dog biscuit. Buy that, buy that, buy that. Just buy a little bit of everything so I've got. I don't think anything else really there. And I could... I feel like the pricing has gone down on some items. Because, like, only 3000 for, like, that top end rod... Okay, well, up here, the prices are a little high, but... Even then, they're actually not as bad as I... I think they used to be? Like, 20,000 for that one is whew, quite a bit, but... Yeah, only 8,000 for, like, the top one there, so I feel like maybe there has been an adjustment for, like, the uh, pricing on items. Oh, actually, I need to talk to you again, because I need to go into storage. More rods. And... I mean, I am tempted for the tackle box expansion, but I think I'll pass for now on that. Yeah, let me check storage. Okay, the Iago we can probably put back. We don't have any bait casting, so that should be fine there. Uh, we'll probably toss that back. Take that one with us. Uh, lures. Nope. Nope, hang on. Okay, so the triggers to move them about. Yeah, I Get rid of the eight there, because we won't be needing that. We'll put those away. Put that back for now. And put that back. We are open. Okay, so the asp, yeah, needs two or one. And what do they like for theirs? Jerk bait, swim bait, and grubs. See anything you like? So let's go to lures. Ah, uh, they said jerk bait, swim bait. Okay, I gotta pick up swim bait, but jerk bait. I gotta pick up both, actually. Do, 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 do lures. Do, 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 swim baits. There we go. Okay, not. Yeah, let's get that one. And that one. And just in case we use for other species, we'll also pick up jerk baits of those as well. Now for storage, bait wise. Let's get rid of. The marshmallow, I don't think we've used to catch much of anything. The bread will toss back. Uh, we'll keep the live. And let's see. We'll get the dog biscuits. Now oh, we can take all that. You look like you know what you want. Yeah, I think that's everything good there. So let's thankfully fast travel right back out here. And I am going to just quickly head back to the main menu. Go back to uh, change the time day to evening and then hop in. 
I'm wondering, because they've now given more manual control for the players to change the time day or set the time they want to fish at, maybe they've also changed the, uh, how quickly, like, time progresses in-game again. Because I think they had changed it from the initial release in order to give people more time at, like, what they were after. Chat, just quick cap to the menu, change it to evening, and hopping right back in. I love this change. It, and it doesn't take very long to load everything up either. So, it is now 1800. So, 6 o'clock in the evening. And yeah, it doesn't exactly look like that, but we'll just play long. Okay. Now... For here, I can go to hook size of 3 on this one. And yeah, there's not that much here, so I think I'd be better off... Tr oh, my bad. Let's get the dog biscuits on and see if we have better luck for the bream with this. So I'm fairly sure this is where we need to be for it. Unless maybe because I loaded... Oh! Oh! Almost landed in the drink there. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? I might as well try fishing off the very front of the dock of the pier here. Because of, like, the rocks on the left and the weird poles or posts to the right, if a fish does swim around those, line can basically snap and it's completely wasted effort. Uh, we'll see if the dog biscuits do better for trying to get a bream. And I'm wondering if the time of days are all broken into, uh, like, six-hour increments to go with, like... Uh, the four kind of choices you have when you load into a map. Like, from midnight to 6 is evening, from 6 to 12 is morning, from 12 to 6 is day, and then from 6 to midnight again is dusk. I don't know if that's how it works, but it just kind of feels logically that probably would be the best way to uh, approach how that is. Uh, we just gotta wait and see what happens. I'll probably see if we don't get an, uh, the bream we need in a few minutes. Maybe we'll try tackling the asp first, just so that way we have a nice variety of uh, fishing content we've tried doing. Because again, this is kind of just how fishing is. Just get the line in the water and gotta wait it out. And then I don't... Yeah, maybe we'll go for Fosglimfjordin next. Because it kind of seems like Fosglimfjordin was kind of where they want you to start at with having, like, the main objectives and such. Although, oh, it's kind of weird. Like, you had bronze rank challenges and such given from here, but your main mission starts you basically to go on a tour up around until you come here. And then this one starts you with silver challenges. So I, I'm not sure if... It's a little odd. But yeah, I still... As much as Troll Sport did give you some bronze options to go for, I would highly recommend Golden Ridge for quite a while to begin yourself. Getting gear and equipment ready. But we just gotta wait and see what happens. Unfortunately, it might be a bit of a long wait. I guess the good news is we haven't had a salmon immediately at the line. Eh, well, that's kind of iffy news. Like, if it's a salmon on, it's probably just more efficient to cut the line and try again than spending the time it takes fighting one to bring it in. But at least when you're fighting one, it is, again, a little more active engagement, and you can have a little more fun watching and trying to fight with it. And it's just for what we have, basically, to try tackling. I am pretty goal-oriented or goal-focused when it comes to the angler. Uh, 
Again, we'll give another minute or two and then I'll try casting out somewhere else. Uh, what do the... Okay, yeah, it says dog biscuits as, like, second one there. We might try the imitation ones next. I don't know where I should be trying to cast with this either. Like, does it tell us anything about them? Shallow pond, deep pond, or lake shore? You know what, I'm going to bring that in, because if it... If that says Lake Shore, then I am thinking maybe instead of being on the dock here, I should try casting actually from shore here. Now, it's not exactly deep water, only 2.6 meters, but... Maybe this is more lakeshore than being out on that pier all the way at the end was. Well, we just gotta wait and see. I'll give this a couple minutes. If nothing does happen or show interest, I'll change out for the imitation dog biscuits, move us to another spot, try there, and if nothing happens a couple minutes there, then we'll make our way back here to try for that asp. I do wonder, though, if maybe the reason why we have species like the bullheads and the rough added were to give troll spirit more small species of fish to catch easier early on. I was like, from what I remember of Russian Fishing 4, I don't think the rough are supposed to be a very large species, and I, I honestly don't think the bullheads are meant to be either. I feel like they might almost be like, say, how the sunfish was on uh, Golden Ridge. Basically, at like, hook size of 7 or 8 is already when they're hitting their gold sizing to catch. And, yeah, from the hook size chart I've got... The smallest gold size catch you really have for Troll Spurred is at hook size 6 for the roaches. So perhaps that is the role they fill, and we just might not get any objectives to specifically go for them because they were a later addition to Troll Spurred. Okay, I'm bringing that in. Nothing has happened. Let's switch this out for the imitation dog biscuits. I don't know how you imitate a dog biscuit, but whatever. We'll try casting out to there and see what happens. There's always one species that has to be a little bit troublesome to try catching, it seems. Not even just, like, uh, the fight itself, but just trying to get one properly on the hook. I don't think we have to worry about any... Ah, uh, burbot, salmon, grayling, catfish, burbot, salmon, trout. Yeah, we won't have to worry about uh, the bream in the next little area we'll probably work at. And I'm thinking we will go to Fossenglim. Or Fossenglein, or whatever it is called. That way we go through... Uh, this basically feels like the middle challenges that we just picked up here. That's 1 to 8. Then this will probably be, like, whatever to 20 or so, I think. Or it might even be, like, 15 to 22 or 21 or somewhere in there. Uh, but yeah, I'll give it one more minute. If we don't have any activity, then we are going to grab the truck and go for the asp. At least on going for the asp, I know we have gotten silver rank sizing in that for it. We just didn't have the hook size needed to catch the gold ones, or try to more specifically limit to just gold catch. Or gold rank catches of them.
And it's currently... This says it's only 1822, but that feels kind of weird. Because, like... I wonder what time of day it was that I went out at... Uh, like, setting for night. Because I could have sworn time was going a lot faster in that one, unless maybe it started me... I'm trying to think for that now. Unless maybe night goes much faster in-game than other times of day? Because I thought it was like 322, and then when I checked again just a later in the episode, it was like 5-something. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I might actually have to check that when I'm editing to see if that is the case of... Uh, night hours do go by much quicker. Uh, yeah, like, I want to be patient with things, but there's just no response. Even if it was, it would just be like you get a nibble and the fish doesn't show any more interest, but at least you knew something. At least it was by to poke at it. So you know what? We're going to bring you in. Yeah, we're going for that asp first. And this will be easy to get to. Yeah, it's literally just up the road over that way. So let's call her ride in, and then go for something that's a little more exciting. And by a little more, I literally mean anything is more exciting than watching a line sit. There's the main road. And we just gotta go for a little bit of a drive. Okay. Now we should be coming up to a fork in the road, and we basically want to say no to both options and go off road. Yeah, about right here should be good to go off. Sure, the toll we might have actually come across the road if we or that fork in the road if we kept going that way, but we're getting there. Yeah, there's the little watchtower. And we just got to get through the trees a little bit here. We're making our own way. There we go. Look with that. No trouble at all getting out here. Might have just given the Jeep a little bit of a new paint job, is all. Oh yeah, just fine. Okay, so... We're definitely going to be using the Stalo in the Hunt here, because we need the strongest line we can get. Um, We want, however, a spinning rig. And I think it was... Yeah, we'll go for a swim bait too. Because this is probably going to be quite a fight once we get an Asp on. I'm just going to lower the, uh... Oh, hang on a moment. I don't see any retrieval methods coming up on screen. Like... There's no shortcut to do jigging or uh, twitching as we're reeling in. Did the update break that? Oh, for summer... Okay, that's why, for some reason, didn't actually switch the rods on me. I was, like, trying to bottom fish. I 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why, for whatever reason, it didn't, uh... Didn't switch the rods over properly. Properly. That explains why it was so weird going like that. <laughs> yeah, we'll just bring this right in, and I'll try to get a better cast out with... Actually, you know what? Quick retrieve. Should use the efficient shortcuts if they give them to me. There's a good cast. Okay, we're going to do twitching because I have to imagine, like, more movement with this kind of bait is probably going to be more efficient. Makes it m look more like a uh, small fish swimming boat. Yeah, my mistake. For I don't I guess maybe I forgot to like select for sure to change the rod over, or maybe I took a step and that broke or that stopped the animation from switching to the other rod. Yeah, everything's working as intended. That was just uh pilot error, we'll call it. And let me try a cast way over there. Now I'm hoping we'll see something try going for it. Watch, because the time of day is more into the evening, the ass marked is active. Actually, you know what? On this retrieval, I might actually want to check that, because that might actually be something that could take effect. Because you now have the manual ability to change time of day, it could be time of day does matter much more for the species with that trait, or those, like, time-specific traits. And asp... Yeah, it looks like it is number two and number ones. It is. It is a sun lover. So I basically have polar opposites for what I'm trying to get here, but we'll switch that for... Yeah, we'll go for a jerkbait to see. And I kind of thought the thing with a jerkbait would be, because of the spoon on the front of the lure, as you're rolling in, it would, like, try diving underneath more. But it seems like this one's just, like, coming to the surface. So maybe I've got to keep the rod up for that? No, that doesn't seem to affect it. Hmm. Like, I can see some sizable fish in there, but... Nothing is interesting in what we're casting out yet. I could try increasing the size to a... A 1 and see. And maybe I'll do that after this cast. But of course, I tried playing both ends, and now I can't seem to get either end correct. I'll have to see what we'll do next episode. Maybe we'll start with the Asp and go for the Bream second. Just so that way I can set the time of day to be much better and... Probably we'll have more results doing this with the day set right. Like, I know because of the hook sizing I probably can't get any silver ones interested in this. 
So only a gold one will ever strike here. Well, let's try switching that out to a one and just see if that might help our odds too. Yeah, maybe I'll give it a little bit of time to sink into the water table a bit more. Yes, I'm still servicing as we're reeling it in. You see, I kind of thought because of that plastic spoon, as it's like fighting the water, it would kind of be going down more as you bring it in, but maybe I'm mistaken? We'll bring it in and we'll check the 3D model. Or we'll check the lure and see what it looks like. Oh no, there is no spoon on the jerkbait. Uh, it must be the crankbait I'm thinking of that has... Yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking of. Because the crankbait usually has like a little plastic spoon at the front end of it, so that way... When you're reeling it in, it's actually diving deeper in the water. A lot of pilot error in this episode. Okay, we'll try some twitching on this retrieval and just see if we can get anything, but... I've got to pay more attention to uh, the fish traits. The bream, I thought we would have gotten with this weekend, but... At least we got to see the Xander, or catch a couple of them, so we do know that... Uh, we have ways of getting some of the other species we've never seen before with time D. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any interest in what we're doing here. So I think it is down to, because the time of day isn't correct, the fish aren't really as active and we're not having the same luck. So what we'll do next weekend, we'll start with the asp, go out during the middle of the day. Once we catch that, we'll probably hop to the menu to change the time of day out. And then come back and go for the bream. And then we'll probably switch gears to go way east for Fosengrim. Take care of what we can there. And then see what the last objectives might be like for uh, the middle hub. I was like, I'm kind of surprised that they put it... You start at the middle area for the fishing challenges. Ooh, hang on. Okay, this might be... Yeah, this is what we're waiting for. That has to be a gold rank asp on. It's just also testing. I'm glad we upgraded the line, because I don't know if the previous line would hold out against this big guy. But maybe not being act. Nah, I shouldn't give it credit. I was going to say, maybe because it's night, it's not like as active for fighting back either. But I don't think that would be a thing of it. Come on, big guy. There we go. And there's our gold ass. So we at least got something done for the weekend. We'll toss you back in. Now with that challenge completed, we will just fast travel over to... Actually, let me activate the, uh, the Bream challenge again. Okay, we had a lot for Nokenshin. And then, yeah, not a lot... Oh, my mistake. I was seeing, like, okay, challenge 14, but no, each region does have, like, 1, 2, their max. So Nokenshin did start at 1 and had all those go for it. My bad, I'm being stupid. Okay, but yeah, we'll fast travel here. We're not going to try for it anymore today, because I think we spent enough time this weekend trying for the Bream and have no results. But maybe next weekend we can figure out the better way to cast for them. But we will end things off with a nice view of the lake. Or what? Fjord, I should say. Because that's where we are. It's on a Norwegian fjord. So, thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Called Wild the Angler. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, 
tips, or tricks, shoot in the comments right down below. Until I see you all next video in the next video or episode, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.